Yo, we're live. What's Anything on, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Would you tell me not to say? <laughs> uh, don't say anything stupid. So that, yeah, he said it. What's, what's going on, everybody? We got the, uh, <coughs> as you know, how many people we got in here right now? A couple. Might wait for uh, some more people to come in. Let's see here. We got a uh, way to go, Raj. Raj. And we got Brandon T. and Juan Pratt. Brandon and Juan. What's going on, everybody? Loving the flex out there. Yeah. Just bought the M12 combo kit. Mm hmm. Now he's a popper. He's a popper. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I don't know that being a pauper is awesome. Um, what kind of uh, you got? What kind of Erks Rose are you on tonight? What me? Yeah. What kind of what? Erks Rose. I, I don't know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't. I, I have no idea what you just said. E R X R O S E, Erks Rose. Should, should I Google image that? <laughs> it's safe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can. Which which combo case did you get, Raj? Did you get the uh, Did you get the two? The oh, Gen four, Gen three. Gen, Gen three. <laughs> <clears throat> to me. All right, we oh. have some people in here. We have. Um, somewhat of a partnership with flex now they sent me some tools as you know they sent me this hat obviously uh yeah they sent me this koozie and we got some other stuff we got a we had a scarf which uh, i put on a thumbnail which i thought was hilarious um and there's a long format video coming out of that i literally had no idea how to put a scarf and my daughter's like it goes this way it's like Anyway, um, they are sending us tools now, so that is that's pretty cool. They sent us two 10 amp hour batteries. They sent us the rear handle with the rapid charger, and we are going to be getting the um, whatever that is, the three hundred dollar STS. They have an STS with a battery and a kit for two fifty. We are getting the three hundred dollar bear tool so i'm really <laughs> excited to try that out that's supposed to be a monster we're gonna find out but it is not here yet alex and paul also i've got another review of a laser coming up for you guys this one's a little bit more expensive but i think it can work as a plumb bob as well and we're gonna find out probably do some stuff live laying out things so how you been uh busy very busy as of late so having been retired for a number of years going back to work last week uh you know my body clock's still not adjusted yet so getting up at five to get home at six forty to uh skip past eating and head right to here you know just living yeah. the dream i'm well. just living the dream but good I'm doing, uh, you know, I think I'm doing well, uh, all things considered. Yeah, that's good. Paul W says, have you tried to return any of your free flex tools to Lowe's yet? <laughs> no. Little known fact here. He actually asked me about it yesterday. He's like, what would happen if I did? Oh, yeah. No, that was a joke, <laughs> I just totally outed you. Hey, where's your, where's your receipt? They'd be like... <laughs> Store credit. It's, it's on my card. <laughs> Store credit right there. Store credit. I look. I, I'm actually ill tonight. I'm having some uh, some issues, so don't worry about it. I will be home fine. I'm one of the more durable people I know. Yeah. Antonell Anderson. Up, Hello, Mister Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get into uh we we have a 24 versus a 36 volt saw today tonight this afternoon whatever it is we and if you flex rear handle and i talked about this in a short and i talked about it in your live stream 
But a little springy. Cool nobody talked about. If you look at this screen here, this one, you'll see that this battery is pretty much going to pop itself out. So as soon as you drop this, it's already coming out. And that's because inside of here, <laughs> right there, these little black buttons. That we can't see. They actually have spring tension on them. And they pop the batteries out for you. Thank you. And that is cool because they could have they done that with their lights too and their fan. So you can see where there's some resistance to push it in. You pop this and it just shoots out. And there's no there's no digging for it. There's no trying to take it and pull it out. It's just uh, something that nobody mentioned, man. That's a great feature. It is so, a very nice feature. We got that. It's got the dust uh, shooter, whatever you call it. Dust, uh, I want to say extractor, but that's not the word. Um, port. <laughs> Yeah, and it's got positive stop, so we can lock this uh, 22, 45, and 56. So you just hit this here. There's 56. Battery's out, so don't worry. We'll do a safety trigger pull. We're good. We can uh, adjust the shoe. Adjust the shoe automatically with the automatic stop. So if we go here, we put it down to 22. You'll see it automatically stops right there. That's nice. nice. And then, uh, yeah, then you've got the full, you know, custom right there. It's a good looking tool. Yeah, it's, uh, it's got the Raptor hook and it's got the tool on it. So mm hmm. So, the blade changing tool. The blade changing tool, yeah. Speaking so, of, is it like so many others where they hide the buttons so that only folks with little hands can get in there to stop the tool, uh, stop the blade from rotating when you're trying to take it off? Uh, no, the button's right here. So, it's right. I'll show you. Right there. You see it? I could see it, and I also know my, my big-ass hands would have a hard time getting in there. So your thumb just fits right there. Oh, okay. It's not too bad. And then your your thumb's here, and then you're working. You're working here on it. So Yeah, it, so it's convenient if you're right-handed. Yeah, so the blade's locked now. Nice. And if you're left-handed, you would... Uh, have to turn it upside down. Put it here like this. And then do whatever you're doing here. It's not too bad. No. Robert G. with the $10 Super Chat. We thank you very much, oh, Robert. Thank you very much. Appreciate he that. said, what's up, Roberts? And not much. Yeah, not too much. We're just, uh, you know what? Uh, you know what's a really cool feature on the scale? Because I've been watching uh, uh, Brandon over there with um, Impact Nation. Mm -hmm. And the scale has the dust port built into the handle. I do, like cool. but, I do um, like that. I do like that. I will say this about the other flex saw that I own, which honestly, man, if you're a homeowner, and I'll show you guys later with this comparison, even if you're not a homeowner, if you're just a general contractor and don't do a whole lot of framing, this saw is freaking awesome, dude. This is the inline saw, and you've got vision on both sides of your blade. And it's belt driven. So last I checked, um, you know, belt drawing motors on cars. So belt are very reliable, especially for something like this. And then you got the lifetime warranty. Belts are also uh, reliable for holding your pants up. Yeah. Hey, you know we always do crazy stupid stuff on this channel. <laughs> like a belt? Yeah. Like whenever you might <laughs> cut the uh the rigid. Mm -hmm. with, hey, check out this blade. I just saw this. Hang on. That may not be safe to use. It's, it's fine, right? Oh, I mean. <laughs> so, when you're cutting with this, though, man, 
the dust just I'm with you, Paul. Here. It's it's awesome. This this isn't a, this. It, it, they got to figure it out, man. These are really, really nice saws. I'm Brandon really said, to have this flex. Brandon and, said, uh, Concord Carpenter. What's up? Brandon T said that the Concord Carpenter just did its best rear handle and 36 volt Makita one, which I'm not surprised because if you watch his channel, uh, just about every time they do a comparison, they take all the power, the you know, speed and all that out of it. And they go, they get, they heavily weighted toward ergonomics and because he's got little hands. I'll say that too, but he also did that with the flex uh, drill yeah. about a year ago and it came on top. So I'm, I'm going to say he's not biased. The, the Makita is a very nice saw and we're about to mm. compare that now. We've gone over all the features on this saw. Um, for me, which, which one do you think will take a hammer easiest? I'm going to lean towards the flex because I've been beating up my flex for a year trying to break it to, to prove a point, like just to see, are they going to break? Because nobody really knew the certainty of the tool. And um, I was bound and determined to try to break them, but are I haven't used this saw enough to say what it will or won't do, but I can tell you right now. I want to see a, a, a six foot did, drop test off of a roof, 20 feet and try to run it. And I, I like probably, that. This would probably be bent up to be expected. Mm -hmm. But I would imagine this thing would probably be fine. Mm. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I. Uh, there's, it, it's got a belt, so there's less moving things with this. It's a, it's a pulley and a, a thing. You know, there's less teeth. There's less. There's there's, there's a lot less going on. Yeah. Um, to drop. I, I'm sure Makita makes some nice stuff. I just don't know what it is. Well, that's the reason why I own this saw because I know this is a nice saw. So, um, as far as I'm concerned, I know the DeWalt one is very nice. I've seen it. Um, I haven't been having a good time with Milwaukee lately, um, for whatever mm -hmm. reason. I, I just not enjoying it. Uh, been going to the DeWalt side lately. Um, I'm sure Milwaukee's great. I don't have the Milwaukee, but what? Uh, we do have this Makita. Which saw kit, Jamie? Oh, we should also mention that before we before we get off of this topic. Uh, this saw. So whenever I requested the tools, I sent the email and I said, hey, you know, this is what I want. And on the Flex website, there's no bare tools. On the Lowe's website, there is. Mm. They say go to the Flex website. I genuinely thought that I was ordering a bare tool. And they sent me the kit because of my mistake. So... So, you know, I said, I thought I was getting this. They sent me that, whatever. So I ended up with two 10 amp hour batteries, which is cool. But this is what I did not know. Uh, this whole kit is $400. So this kit, $400 for this saw. Saw is usually $250. Mm hmm Yeah. This. Yeah. This is me playing the world's smallest violin, sympathizing with your mistake. Nice. So the inline flex with a five oh, damn, that might actually be worth it. One ninety nine for the inline. Charger. Yes. So you get the rapid charger in the kit. That's one hundred and fifty dollar value. And then you get a ten amp hour battery in the kit. Now, these are overpriced, obviously, but this is still a $330 battery. It's pretty, it's pretty it's expensive. 330 or $360. i am going to go conservative on it and say $330. So $330 plus $150 plus $250 um, is, is $400 is a good deal. Yeah. If, if you need a rear handle saw. Um, $250 bare. If you don't, we're going to see the difference between a 5, a 3.5, in a 10 amp hour battery, we got a lot of lumber. And um, now here's the deal, okay? My Makita batteries are fairly old and I've got adapters for DeWalt's. So we're gonna be rocking DeWalt's in here. <laughs> they are better than the Makita. They sound faster when you pull the trigger. Um, I gave my brother my last five and kept the 2.5 just, just to have a Makita battery because I do like the XCD 1.6. Um, but I don't have Makita batteries, but I can promise you 
the DeWalt does more performance. We've already tested it multiple times live on different videos. It's going to do hey, better Jack. with the DeWalt battery. So we're going to be rocking this 36 volt Makita versus this 24 volt Flex. <sighs> and according to everybody, you know, when you go against Milwaukee, they say, oh, well, you got 24 versus 20. So it's no fair. So in reality, this should be better according to the internet. So we're going to find out. Let's look at the features of this real quick. And we are going to be using the same blade. So do you guys want to see the Makita or the Flex first? Let me know because I'm going to change the blade out. Wow. I kind of want to do the Makita first. So hold on. I want to catch up on the comments here. So hello, Juan. We're glad to have you back. Jack Lacazzi. Uh, always a pleasure. Anthony L. Anderson says, Juan, I did a comparison for the exact same uh, two setups between Flex and Milwaukee. 5K for Milwaukee, 4,200 for Flex. There you go. Also hey, ended up. My, my audio, sorry to interrupt you. My audio should be better now. Yes. Okay. Also ended up with more chargers than my coworkers too. There you go. Hey, Tactics, you need to bump up your mic audio a bit. He got yeah. it. Jamie True, they Thank are you. looking to reset the flex in my area and push the stack battery kits, I think. Well, that'll be good. I, I'm telling you, um, I've got the six in that that flex stack battery or flex pack battery, whatever the hell they call it. And it does, it actually, in the case of the drill, it overperforms the abilities of the drill. So, yep. Yep. uh you know, just just be aware of it in high torque situations or whatever. The battery will push the tool beyond the tool's limits. Yeah, it seems like the tool auto cuts out at, you know, just under 50 foot. Yeah, uh, they are looking to reset the flag tool setups. Uh, the flex reset saw one recently on Cor Concord Carpenter. That's nice. Why does uh, why not DeWalt versus flex? He does not have the. Don't. Have the power device. detect. He doesn't have the power I, detect. I wouldn't mind having it though. Or but, the, the um, flex bolt, flex bolt rather. The, the rear handle, big one, whatever it is. It's a flex bolt, I think. Yeah. It's good now. Right. Hey, yo, Roberts. Very true. Hey, Brian. Hey, yo, Brian and Anthony. Now. All right, we're right there. All right, we got two power stacks in here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fully charged. And so, uh, yeah. You're going to run it against the five from the flex? We're going to do a multiple of things. I've got some 8.0s we can put in here. i got a five. Uh, we're just going to see in general because Makita doesn't have anything more than a six, correct? That is true. So you need two sixes in here, so an eight and a five? Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. That's fine. And uh, for my money, I'm just going to go on the record saying this. For my money, if I am using a cordless rear handle at Cirque Saw, I am going with Skill Saw. So you kind of got to like get in there and wiggle these to get them out? Oh, yeah. I you gotta. really do like the other design. Um, so what do we say about this saw? It's been they, around for a long time. So yes, this he, has been a fantastic saw for years. Yeah. All right. Got the hook. We got the battery um, indicator, which is a nice feature. Oh, speaking of, I got to go hit the like button. Thanks it's for reminding me. A it's now 35 and a 45 and a 22 and a half positive stop here. So they're saying you got a little echo on your end. Awesome. Y'all notice like my audio is perfect. Did I just show up? <laughs> Let me, uh, <laughs> <laughs> is that better i mean I, I can't tell the difference but they they're probably they probably can i've been talking for years doesn't make me a grammar teacher <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right uh there's your 22 positive to stop and you roll this down let's go to 45 is that, that is that the Miss Kita? Yep. So got positive stops on it. Fully adjustable. 
the dust port is here. And it came with this. Well. And I guess it covers up your dust port in case you want to not shoot dust all your customers' lawn. I don't know. I guess just drop it. Um, yeah. And then you got the debt control. <laughs> you mean, do you, do you want him to turn the, the camera off that shows his face? And we... <laughs> Lose the side of your face, bro. Yeah. Uh, let me see here. We can do. So we're using my phone for audio because we're about to go into the other room anyway. Yeah, but you could just put it in the back. Yeah. So we can. Um... Oh, that's probably better. My bad. Sorry, the phone's audio is like way better than. Anything. So you, you guys will thank me if you understood how bad the audio can be. Um, yeah, that's all the features for this. This is out real nicely to reach for your blade lock. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's pretty much the saw. They are both. No, the Milwaukee is 10 pounds. The Flex is 10 pounds. I don't know how much this plays. I got a joke for y'all. What do you call your coworker that can't drive a nail with a hammer? I don't, I don't know. know. A Makita boy? <laughs> Go ahead. We're waiting. I'm, We're I'm looking. It's nine point nine point eight. Pounds, so slightly less than 10. <laughs> Lightning. Um, probably the lighter of the two, but it does have two batteries. So, um, bear by itself, 9.2. This, this does feel heavier. Nine pounds, 13.8. So, there you go. Big dog just up and by to hit the light button. Have a good one, fellas. A oh, good one, big dog. We appreciate you stopping by. Thanks for hitting the like button. Yeah, thanks. Light tink. Light light lightning. 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 Yeah. Cool. Lightning because cool. because <laughs> he never hits the same place twice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, one thing I do want to point out, the uh, says plywood, half inch, quarter, and it's got your lumber, your your common lumber sizes on the side of where this thing would wind up as you're cutting. <laughs> so I don't know if you really need that, but it, I guess it could be helpful. So if you want, if you're going to do... Two plywoods at the same time, I guess you'd put it right there, three quarter. And if you're going to do a quarter inch, you'd drop it down here. I guess that is useful. That's pretty cool. Yeah. The Makita has it in inches. So one. Quarter, half, three quarter, one inch. And then the front of the Makita, very easy to see on the numbers. Where are the numbers? There. <laughs> Can you see? Them? Yeah. Yes, I could see the forty-five. I could see a one and a two. So it's a lot easier to see than on camera. Actually, when, when I look at them, they're they're easy to see, but on camera, it's kind of hard to get you guys a good angle. Well, one and a zero, a forty-five, a one and a two. Yeah, there you go. And on the flex, don't worry about it, Juan. I know what you're doing. It's got zero and forty-five. Yeah. And uh, they have the markings. Yeah. Okay, that's that's about it for the features. Let's. It's let's a get saw. Yeah, Makita first or Flex first? That's the question. Uh, well, the uh, sooner you get Makita done, the sooner we don't have to see it. Let's see the Makita first. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they hate Israel. <laughs> Oh. <laughs>
He's been cutting the cheese all night, Paul. What do you want? <laughs> oh, he's got to replace the blade. It, your uh, your audio it really picking up on that. I can hear you. Yeah, sometimes you're sensitive than others. I I think if you leave it that way, for sure the Makita wins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does Flex no? He's keeping the uh, the Walt batteries in the Makita because Makita has inferior battery technology. Hey, you know what, dude? This is not unless I'm doing this wrong. This is a seven and a quarter. Yeah, this is a six and a half. This Makita is a six mm. and a half. Is it? <laughs> I don't I don't know anything about the Makita. I think it's a six and a half. That's okay, because I've got a brand new spider. I think anytime anytime yeah, you just everyone happy because this is the brand new spider. So I, I'm right. pretty sure this is six and a half. Yeah, it's all right. The flex has stacked. So what's funny, Anthony, is he's actually got a DeWalt power stack battery in the Miss Kita. Come on, I know you want to open. Are you opening that package with a hammer? Yeah, you like my hammer? Yeah, this is a nice hammer. Yeah, it's pretty Brandon good. Brandon said it's a seven and a quarter. Well, okay. Doesn't look it, but hey, the new 5.0. Okay. Uh, no, he's got a 10. You know what helps? Um, taking the freaking bolt out. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it, guys. I'm just going to pretend it didn't happen. Unfortunately, it did happen. On camera, live, and in front of everybody. Hey, I've done more. This is true. <laughs> so is your wife. Think All about right. it. <laughs> she did you at least twice. <laughs> that's the wife my that's the joke my wife tells people. I've done worse. Look. <laughs> I know what I'm walking into now. Come on. These things happen. Cool. I've decided. We I... have the wood set up in the other room. All right. We just well, got to uh, get this um, up there. Hang on. I'm that with you, good. Paul. I think that yeah. is. So. Uh, I have decided that I have a new favorite drill. It took me a couple of days, but I finally decided I have a new favorite drill. What is it? The 2904 from Milwaukee. Nice. It's replaced rigid in my heart. Well, the rigid octane. Yeah, I don't feel like this is actually going to stay here. Like watching paint dry. Pretty cool view. It's not like when we do tool testing on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> we just show up and start doing it. We're like, All right. The Gen 4. Yes, Anthony. I really like the Gen 4. It's not as powerful as the Gen 3. It's my one knock on it. But it, uh, it's, it's a little bit bigger than the Gen 3. And it, it just feels a little better. Yeah. Paul W. Bite your tongue. It will never be a Miss Kita. 
been telling you about Milwaukee, Robert. I've had Milwaukee for a long time. I, d- I didn't like the Gen 3. It was okay, but uh, it's not my favorite. It was never going to be my favorite. The Gen 4 just feels better. Uh, it, it really does. Uh, I get one more. But before anybody thinks I'm not going to be a rigid guy tomorrow, you're wrong. I'll still be rigid. Oh, you got your big red box? Yeah, there we go. Now we get right. to you. I do like how we can see the charger port hanging. That's awesome. Which one? Charger On your phone. Yeah. Oh, you can? Yeah. See, I see, oh. I see your fingers. Look, uh, oh, damn it. I can still see it. It's just covered up by your name. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna take it to big screen. I mean, I get called a Milwaukee fanboy enough. Shit, I might as well go all in on it. I'm just gonna stick with the 2904. That's my my favorite one. Why do you like the Gen? We held one one, so it's not switching Gen three to Gen four. To me, they felt similar, if not the same. So for me, the Gen 4 has a little bit more weight to it, which I do like. I don't want a whole ton of weight. It's not like going to the 999 or to the the Octane, but uh, it does have a little bit more weight to it. It's also a, just a hair longer, which I do like. I thought the Gen 3 was too small. I'm just full of surprises. You guys never know. No one would ever pick me to to pick Milwaukee. We'll go two feet. You're going to go two feet? Yeah. Means he's doing it 24 times, folks. Let's go. All right. You got the angle of the dangle that you want? I think so. We're going to really be able to tell that two feet. It's uh, right, uh, it's right there. That's for sure going to fall. Can, can you move the camera so that we've got the side view of the board? Is that what you want? Like, I, I don't know what you want. Yeah, yeah. this angle isn't going to do uh, diddly squat for anybody. Hang on. Am I wrong? Are you guys tell me. Well, did that angle look good to you before? And then, and then mark on the side of the board where the two feet is so that we can oh. see when it comes up. You know what I'm saying? You might be on to something there. I'm, it's almost like I did that. Uh, my Gen 3 is one key. The Gen 4 I held was not one key. I wonder how big of a weight difference there is. It's one key to not, I don't know. I don't know. How much lighter is the Gen 4 than the flat? It's, it's considerably light. It, like, it's considerably lighter. Uh, as soon as he's done playing around, I'll I'll weigh him for you, Anthony, now, so that we have it and we know. He has a small one. He sure does. Barely. <laughs> there you go. Do you have the cup? All right. Okay, I can see the mark for the two feet. Okay. So as it comes in, and this will help you later on when you're putting this out, uh, this will help you uh, because it'll allow like a better angle for you. And while you're doing the cutting, you can just remove me from the screen so that everybody can see the full screen version. Yeah, we could do that. Makes yeah. sense. All right. <laughs> By the way, the, the the new rigid drill is right up there, too. I really do like it. It's just not as powerful. Now, hit. Okay. Oh, this is because of the camera angle. You know what? I'm going to turn my phone sideways. Ah. Now he's cooking with petrol. Maybe. Turn it the other way. Keep going. Just a hair. There we're in there. We're, we're in there now. We got the the... the we got the two foot mark. We got the what the devil did you do? You I didn't do nothing. All right, we're good. We're good. All right, come on. Here we go. All right. 
Are those wires hanging out by the meter box? Are those what? Wires hanging out by the meter box in the background? Uh, yeah, but they're not. That's just the box. Yeah, it's, it's not, not active. Yeah, yeah, I know. I can see that. Right. Here we go. Joshua Wilson in the his A. What's up, Josh? So that's, that's fully engulfed. I mean, there's no relief on the bottom of that. There's no yeah. clearing the dust out. It, there's no hole down here. <laughs> yes. So I'm, uh, you know, I'm going to admit my bias. I am pulling for flex. It's pretty straight. Yeah. Yeah. Unlike the owner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Grab the flex. Let's go. Yeah, it is a Do you want get, me to the flex now? Get the Miss Kita off the screen. <laughs> oh, it's like torture. <laughs> I don't really care if it's there. I think I just saw Sparks. It, it's just, it, it's not hooked up or else it would have a reader in it. Were you want me to run this on the five or what? Yeah, you get. Are you going to run the five, or are you going to run the ten? Uh, I got the ten in here right now, but I can run the five. Run the, uh, yeah, run the five because I think it's going to be close with the five. Did you know that you can get two Diablo seven and a quarter circ saw blades right now for twenty bucks? I can get what? Two Diablo seven and a quarter Cirque saw blades for twenty dollars. Uh, no, dude, because I've been out of the house, man. I haven't been feeling that good. Me, I'm with, I'm there with you today. Fully engulfed. Paul W, <laughs> bite your tongue. Go, Makita, go. He says. You're going to drive, drive, yeah, drive. Uh, so he's using his cell phone for his mic tonight. So the further he is away from the mic, or th in this case, the phone, the more sketch his volume becomes. But I am, one, thankful for that because it means for the first time ever on his stream, he will not be killing my ears with the sound of those saws. And... Yeah, that's cool. And... Wait, my sound? What? Hey, you got your mic volume all out? I'm too loud? All right, hold on. I can adjust it. So, audio. Boom. Now, how's that? That should be much better for you. We at least can't get used to the cold yet this year. I hear you. Smash the like button. I like it. I heard a rumor Miss Kita is going to be selling fingernail polish that matches tools. They actually make tools to match your fingernail polish. <laughs> way, way better. It's not even that cold yet, but I think the weather uh, brought depression. So it's been in, like, I get up and it's uh, maybe 16 19 degrees out. The other day it was 11. I get to work before the sun comes up. <laughs> and then it goes down while I'm driving home. So I never get to enjoy it. Here's a five. All right. I didn't know we were going to be doing this. I had to grab my stopwatch. Actually, let me go grab my stopwatch real quick. I got a stopwatch just for such emergencies, and I think I remember where it is. Thank and baby. Oh, or you could just ignore me altogether. No, I'm just seeing what the what the motor sounds like at full load um, with a five. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna see what it sounds like with the ten real quick. Dude, I love that man. The battery just pops out of there. It just so easy. 
Oh. All right. I have the stopwatch ready. I will start it when I see you hit the wood with the when you hit the wood with the blade. And then once the uh, once the blade gets to the line. <laughs> okay. All right. So whenever you're ready. You can see it. You ready? Yeah. Nine point nine four seconds. Not as uh, not as smooth with the five. Hmm. Let me uh, let me try one more cut because I might have gotten too close to this one and it might have been in a bind. I'm gonna go. I was gonna try and do three cuts, but you can see we're gonna try one more time. Hold on. The Makita one was great, but that kind of not so good. I just put the time in. Okay. For the. So I'm going to reset my stopwatch. I actually bought this just for these types of situations. Does this work like that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can see. All right, one more time on this far side. All right. Batteries not fully charged. Maybe I've got the, let me, let me grab one more box. Hang on. I'm going to have to drive the Sorry. A 3.5 would do better than the 5, probably. Uh, you need an 8 amp hour minimum for that sucker, brother. I agree with you. Uh, saws are one of the things where I agree you need a bigger battery. All right, here we go. Four tactics. It's, it's not as smooth as a Makita with a five. I don't think so. That was 5.75 seconds. Okay. You want me uh, you want me to run the 10 or the 3.5? Uh, yes. I just want you to know, I actually stopped it when the blade got to the line. Not when he stopped it. I stopped it when the blade got to the line. Right. He was pushing beyond the line, so I just... Wanted to make that clear. Just like Brett. Actually, that is very impressive. All right, here it comes. Let's see if we can do this. It's getting really thin. All right, here we go. I mean, if only you could turn the board over. No, because it'd be like a relief cut. It would cut it in half. Um, it has another side to it. Yeah, flip the board around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. here we go. We'll try this first. <laughs> So the shoe got caught up. I'm just going to stop it there. Well, uh, hang on. Yeah, that's not going to be good. I'm just going to. I'm going to finish it. So the 3.5 is way stronger with the stack lithium. I just want you. I stopped it. I yeah, stopped the stopwatch when he when he stopped. I Sorry, guys. If, I like breaking stuff. All right, let me flip it around. Especially his anal cherry. <laughs> okay, now look. That's all you really need to see. It's too bad you don't have sheet goods. Poor, Dude, poor. It's a two-by. How dare you treat a Milwaukee that way? Mm. How come you did? Uh, how come you don't pick it up on? Awesome, especially the hammer drill with the warranty. Mm. Twenty two four twenty four seven combat. I got both the mill the flax and the Miskita XGT rear handle, and the XGT wins that battle to me. 
with 200 more RPM. Nice. But the 6.5 in-lane flex is like better than any Makita 6.5. Nice. Okay. Here comes a... You want to see the 3.5 one more time on this and then versus the 10? And then we'll go back to Makita. Okay. All right, there. I like that, Jeremy. All right, here we go. Dang it. Try again. I think I'll stop it right there. I, I mean, I got nervous about the thing getting stuck again, so I was holding it and I wasn't looking. All right, here we go. Three point six two seconds. I still had like half an inch to go. Impact Nation Tools is here. Hello, Brandon. We were just talking about you earlier. Glad to have you here as always. Jeremy says that the DeWalt Atomic is better for sheet goods, lighter. Uh, don't need deep cuts. That is very true. You don't need deep cuts. But I, um, I love that DeWalt Atomic. So most of the time, what you're using this for is not a cross cut. You should be using it for ripping. So going the long way along a piece. Or like two sheets of plywood. As you can see, we have like three sheets of plywood. All right, here comes a 10. Ready? Yep. Two point nine. Two point nine. Okay, and that's without like really force. Let me let me go for a speed run, then we'll flip it around and get the Makita. Okay. Let's see if I can really push it. That was two point three. Okay. We well, two point three two. Okay. We can we can keep two point three. All right. That's, two. That, two that, I mean, that's faster than you should be cutting. So that's that's good. I feel good about that. Uh, so much wood. The twenty four seven combat says you're a real one, and thank you for doing the battery tests. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. One thing, I, man, I had a really, uh, yeah, really good friend in Craston, one of the best Craftsmans I've known, apart from my dad, who taught me this. And I used to make a mark like this. And they say, which side of the mark are you marking on? Which, which side are you going to cut? And uh, he showed me this trick here. And he said, the general rule is if you start here and you pull away, you know 100% that it's right there on that line. And you can finish up right there without a shadow of a doubt. That's your mark if you pull it away. I see a lot of people doing arrows and, and this and then that or this and then that. And you don't know if it's the top of your line or the bottom of your line. And he said, if you, if you pull away, we know that it's right there, 100% guaranteed. That's What's a your good thoughts tip. on that? That's a good tip. I like it. I used to like, cause woodworking is how I get, did a lot of things. So I always made a squiggle mark after. So I knew which side to cut on. Yeah. Mark should be arrow point of arrow in measure. Someone said arrow. Yes. Jeremy okay. said it. Long beveled rafters. Sounds like a country song. Huh. We have the battery out in case you guys are wondering. We, we aren't. And we are in drive. Why are we not listening? There we go. I can't stop that. I only mark the square underneath the tape measure. That's a good idea. And then what up, fellas? 
X is waist side of where the stud should be. Uh, yes, Jeremy. Okay. I wouldn't ask you to pull away from the right place. Jamie, where's the right <laughs> place on you, brother? <laughs> well, uh, Juan says he just uses a Sharpie, but the, the point is what side of the Sharpie is the side that you measured from? What side do you cut? Like your keep versus your waist. <laughs> Underneath. Well, you can't see what I'm doing. No, no. We know you're putting in a uh, blade, though, so it's not like it's rocking science. Yeah. Well, there was that one time where I put it on backwards somehow. I don't, if my way is standard. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Antonell says we need that one guy in the chat that's like bro I'm accurate to an exacto knife blade <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, look, there are so many uh, I call them faux professionals which are the, right. the guys that tell you they're professionals they've been on the job site for 30 years uh, like they, they just hit your comment section like no one's business and the more they the more they talk the less the more they prove they don't know. <laughs> yeah. Let me uh it's go see how fast we can get this done. Just take that time. Paul said next time use two blades. Don't be so cheap, you bastard. Yeah, I, I ain't <laughs> gonna destroy in a minute, man. Okay, here we go. Let me go fast. That's three flat. Okay. Well, I mean, yep. I'm pushing pretty hard. We can try again and go fast. Okay. But I can hear it slowing down. Um, try again. That's a DNF? Yeah, it's stopped. Let me see if I can put a bigger battery on this. I am not calling you out, Jeremy. I'm just saying there are a lot of professionals out there. Can we see the mosquito run with mosquito batteries? That's Miss, one word, Kita. <laughs> see if there's a difference between the batteries. Hey, they want you to run. Uh, do you even have Makita batteries anymore? I have a 2.5. Oh, okay. There you go. 2.0. You didn't fully charge though. But we already know that Makita has uh, inferior battery technology. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't want to. I mean, yeah. Yeah, we, we know that um, the, the power stacks make this thing make more noise. It, it, it sounds faster. Uh, I got a five here. I'm with you, Impact. We're gonna we're gonna mix our batteries, which is uh, recommended. For the, okay. We're so in, five and a, impact said, "My dad's been in construction thirty five years, still learning. Nobody's perfect. Nobody knows everything. You can do the best you can. App, you do the best you can. Absolutely correct, Brandon. I love that. Uh, and Jeremy says, "I've always figured it's not a bar or a church, and good enough." for government work always looks good for my house. You know what? My work looks better the further away from you, you get. <laughs> I'm going to say that. Admitting it is the only way to grow. Yeah.
Yeah, yeah. See, my phone looks like it's folded, but it, it'll be flat on YouTube because I got that crease in the middle of my phone. Yeah. No, you got the you, you've got the uh, sixteen by nine going right now. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want. So we're gonna try this again, high speed. Um, we do have a little bit of a cut here because we turned it upside down, um, but we did rotate the board. So this whole side is new. The last like three inches is not. So if it gets in a bind or whatever, we'll just we'll see what happens. All right. We're gonna see if we can go really really fast. I'd say it's secure. Well, it's cracked, so it's 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 getting compressed right now. All right, here we go. That's a DNF. I I, I can't go as fast as the flex with the ten. Hang on. That's longer than three seconds, but I didn't have a chance to reset the stopwatch. Okay, my bad. So, um, what I won't be doing is buying the Kita <laughs> It's a nice fifteen footer. Yeah, I like that. Well, Jeremy, the the best ability on a job site is availability. So even if you're the dumbest guy, if you're trying hard and you're there, you're going to be fine. Do the same with the flex, that battery that can, uh, came in the pack. So he, he just did it with the flex and the 10, uh, the 10, and he was able to push it. No trouble. See if you can bog it. Well, we know the Makita can be get bogged. Down. The Miskita can be bogged down. What you doing? I'm gonna see what the difference feels like to me. Because yesterday when I did the flex, I, I can't even feel the motor. Like almost on the wood, like if that makes sense. It just it just cuts. It, it might be about the same, you know. Okay. Very smooth. Oh, he, he's just learning how to use his hands on hardwood. Normally, it's his lips. <laughs> but the Makita did get bogged down. Yeah. <laughs> that 4x4 four four might be getting returned to Lowe's in the morning. <laughs> They'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they will. Do we want to see the, uh, after this, we're going to look at the uh, inline. Okay. And in case anybody's wondering, we're following up the Titan with a uh, with an actual hand tool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this blade does have the diamond knockout in it. I think somebody asked me that last time. But you don't have to knock it out. Um, have you tried the flex multi-tool saw attachment? A what? Anthony now wants to know if you have tried the flex multi-tool saw attachment. No. Me either. What, what was it attached to? I don't know. Oh. 
using cordless driver for blade changer is definitely a sparky thing. That might so be true because I do the we same are, thing. We're going to stick with a three point five, and not the ten. But I use a uh, I use a Dewalt so it doesn't over tight. Let's, let's see. What is <laughs> oh, the Starlock no, blade. No, dude, it's it's smoother. What is? Yeah, the flex. The flex is smoother. Oh. I don't think you're going to notice that much of a difference. But um, man, it's it's smooth, dude. <laughs> There's no weight difference when you run it through the wood. It's just there's no resistance at all. Very, very smooth. I I wonder one thing. Does your phone have any sawdust on it? A little bit. It's up on a on a box. I mean, Why, you, can you not see the? Uh, no, you. We can see, but every time you run that saw, look at the look at the Milwaukee. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad, but it's okay. I just care about the camera. Yeah, it's covered in dust. If you, not you too bad, though. It's not even strong enough to get the screw in. <laughs> Did you fall? I don't know what you're doing. Are you wearing your safety Crocs? No, I got uh, shoes on. Dirty bugger. I think I'd rather, you know what? I'd rather actually use a 2 by 4 He lets it get dirty so he can blow on it. With a bunch of guys watching. How freaky is Probably that? <laughs> Most <laughs> carpenters I've seen do that. Uh, strip out the bowl. Uh, you don't want to sit there and have it impact a bunch of times, but if you just get it down to where it's snug, you know when it's snug, it's not a big deal. Well, so those guys are... Oh, excuse me. Cross-thread it anyway. The whole piece is... Uh, we're going to go to 16 inches. Is it a dime piece? Yeah, it's a dumb piece. <laughs> Dusty here for some reason. I don't know why. You got dust all over that uh, Makita or the that Milwaukee and the DeWalt. That's not right. We got it out. Most YouTuber YouTube carpenters use Flex Impact and Makita rear handle saw. What a really? combination. I don't know. I I don't I honest to God, I don't watch the, like other people's tool reviews anymore. Let's see, uh let's see how is it sixteen sixteen inches. Three point five. All right, hold on. Hold on. Did y'all hear me say hold on? No, I didn't. Because I didn't get the timing on that. Here comes the tan. Ready? Yeah. Here's the tan. One, one point six nine seconds. Yeah. So, uh, let's straighten out for how fast we're going. Dang. I mean, there's a little hook to it. Yeah, it's got a little bit. I mean, he is wearing a flex hat, sporting uh -huh. free flex gear. He's got it's a free a flex saw. Hat, man. That's, that's, uh, that's going to change that. Remember, because I told you I got that thing. So, my memory is improving a little bit. My, my, uh, Oh, okay. Less, less scatterbrain going on lately. Yeah, I get a lot of uh, a lot of dudes on my. You get a lot of dudes on your what? I get a lot of dudes on my channel that uh, they're they're from all 
the UK or whatever, and they're like, never heard of Flex. <laughs> like, okay. This was most popular. So um, yeah. we do All have right. two blades, but I want to use the same blade for, for even results. So, oh. um, yeah. When is Flex coming out with safety? Car? I don't know. That's a good idea. Milwaukee will just have some red and white ones. DeWalt will have some ugly yellow ones. I don't like yellow. I like DeWalt, but I don't like yellow. I don't know. That's it. That's somebody go over and suggest that to him. I would love to have some like, I don't know, Matabo Crocs. Rocking the green Matabo. Or the German green and red Matabo. That'd be cool. This this guy here, man, will always have a spot in my arsenal. The screwdriver? Yeah, it's a pretty nice one. The inline? Yeah, the screwdriver, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -oh. His own bit, his own bit, and he doesn't remember it. <laughs> Every hospital uses heart crocs. <laughs> Every hospital uses heart crocs. They would be white and blue, though. That, that does kind of make sense. What'd you do? Misplace the impact driver? Uh, different size socket. Oh. The arbor is a different size. Where is the direction? <laughs> Rotation, there it is. Teeth go towards you. What's the standstill with flex uh, tools right now? Anita Sander, nail guns, et cetera. Robert, what do you know that you work for flex? Just teasing, but really tell us. What's that? He wants to know, because he, he has some, uh, it, this is 247 combat. He has some need for some flex tools. And he wants to know when they're coming out with like a sander and a nail gun and and yeah, a few other. Tell me. She kind of she kind of paused and she sounded like half excited for a second, but then she said, "I can't say anything." Um, something about the beginning of next year. So I don't know what they're coming out with, but expect something the beginning of next year. That's, that's what I was told. I hear you, Jeremy. I don't know why it's so dusty in here. So I'm just gonna say this: being a solar guy, we used to have a small solar panel uh, in one of the vehicles, typically a van, that we would have out there, and then we would use that, and we would direct run everything through a small inverter, so that we could then back to invert uh, for the chargers and whatnot on the battery. So there was never an issue with us; we could run whatever. And we always had like four, five, six chargers banged up. All right. You told me when it's up. When do you guys think two feet is? Hang on. What the heck? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Ready? Go. Now. Wait. We'll put a we'll put an S for souls there. When is Elon Musk gonna create I think tools? It's here. That do I work think it's for, here. Like about where I told you to stop the last time. And then you yeah, kept going happened. for another couple inches. Oh well. Hey, let's try again. This might be delayed. You ready? Go. There. That's where that's where your S is. Yeah, but <laughs> that it's mind. delayed. It's fine. It's delayed. I got you. Yeah. E Elon Musk okay. is out of his tree. Oh my god, dude! I am. I am like right on. Uh, here, check it out. 
the back of my R. Uh huh. That's that's nice. The R has a tard in it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that, not too bad for being on like a camera at a good distance away. Yeah, no, you did good. Uh, I, I think I think it's delayed too. Yeah, I was pretty close to where you were. Yeah, I would agree with that. That's all good. Based on after it, you know, I could see what was happening two times in a row. Oh, I I hear you, Jeremy. All right, let's rock that the finger didn't bug out at all. and then the ten. All right, a big old knot in here. Why didn't anybody tell me? Oh, whatever. Uh, here we go. I think I'm forgetting something. Did you have a zero? Yeah. Lee no, Monson, hello from Grand Prairie, Alberta, Canada. All right, Glad to have you here. How's it going? All right. Oh. That you know was, what? I thought that was going to do a lot better. That was 3.12 seconds just to there. Well, dude, those saws are monsters, man. Um, I, I really thought this saw was going to do a little bit better than that. Did we, the knot's here. Yeah, we see it. Yeah. We got an excellent view of the knot. Awesome. Let's put a can in it. All right. That was stacked. Right. A uh, 3.5 stacked, yeah. Here comes a 10. Pretty much the same spot. 2.69 seconds to there. I mean, I don't have any 2 by 4s laying around right now. I just grabbed the real rigid embarrass myself <laughs> I will say this I, the rigid has not made a good circ saw at least none that I've used they've all been okay but none of them been like amazing but in solar all I needed to do is occasionally cut a little rail with one so it was easy Let's see. Let's see if we can go just as fast as the rear handle. <laughs> Here we go. Ten. All right, that's with the ten. One point nine three. One point nine three. Cutting knots is part of the job. Dealing with knot heads. Though, right? All right. This is with an eight. Rigid circs I have blades on wrong side. No, they don't, Jeremy. Here we go. I don't think it quite has the power. Passive. Try again. Four point eight five. Okay. Uh, the... If Flex is bribing with free tools for you to demonstrate, they're not happy at you tonight. It couldn't. It did beat Who's the Makita, happy? though. Flex. It did beat oh. the Makita, though. Hey, you know what? Um, I, I should tell you this. So I told the lady because, uh, you know, she said that they're going to send me some stuff. And I was like, because early on, I heard rumors that uh, Flex needed to see a positive result. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. Um, that's true. But that's what I heard. Hang on, I gotta watch this, please. So I was kind of apprehensive to uh, to accept tools, and uh, you know, I told the lady I was like, you know, this this is really cool. I've been trying to break the flex since it came out. Um, what's what's the catch? You know, and she said, all you have to do is show the tools and make sure the logo is facing the camera, and use the tools on the video. That's and I nice. said, you know, they're not going to win. You know, I was, you know, the Milwaukee's faster. And she was like, yeah, I know. Um, 
they they understand that at least now so um after that part of the conversation i was like yeah you can you can send me some stuff um so i'm i'm more than happy to uh to showcase a company that that isn't you know trying to uh skew any results i guess you would say mhm but they they already speak for themselves man the jigsaw all the stuff is is really good so i mean i was not sure Jeremy. pretty yeah. confident if they're not the best they're they're up there man they're good tools they are good tools where's the wood check your right. panties yeah, yeah, right. There. Okay. All right, we got a thin margin and a knot, so hopefully it doesn't explode my face. Here we go. It's, it's a smooth, man. It's a good, it's a good, it's a good saw. That was uh, two point five nine seconds. All right, let's check it. One point nine six. Yeah, it's um. I always thought the free tools were the greatest ever game changer for so many. <laughs> All right, here we go. Of course, it gets stuck. Two pinch. Two pinch. Get a good look at that flex 10 amp power battery right there, ladies and gentlemen. So, so can we can we bog this down? Let's see. Actually, no. One more. No, that's pretty good. Hmm. Uh, that's also good. Flex is in the conversation, aka more tools 2023 first quarter. Well, I hope so. I so hope so. Not even gonna... <laughs> that's ridiculous. It is ridiculous, actually. You guys want me to do that with the Makita? Notice I didn't say a word. <laughs> I'll put the Makita blade back on the Makita. And, uh, oh, well, that's a good uh, question. Tactics as a subscriber, I do appreciate you for being straightforward about it. There you go. I appreciate it. And Jeremy wants to know what the actual runtime is versus the recharge. So, what'd you say? Uh, Jeremy wants to know what the actual runtime is versus the recharge. Oh, the reach. Um, and Antonel, and, uh, Antonel says um, the times are on their website. And yeah, the times, times are well. they're vary by tool and what you're cutting and if it's wet and all that stuff. But in general, um, hang on a second. Let me make sure I got the blade the right direction. I couldn't see the logo. <laughs> He's been using flex blades too. Oh, no. It's a spider blade. Spider blade. Spider blade. For the resip <laughs> on a five amp hour, it's 50 cuts in a four by four. Wow. That's actually really good. So oh, four by four, yeah, that's impressive. How many cuts is that through a railroad tie? I remember when they were doing that. Everybody was cutting railroad ties in half. Oh, uh, I was up. Yeah, that that was uh, 
an impressive flex. <laughs> I don't know why it's so dusty in here. I can't figure it out. I don't know. The Mac Walt with the stack batteries. Carlos yeah, these, Della these Torre. Here, let me let me show you this. This is uh, this is not. Where did he go? There it is. Okay. So fully charged Makita XTD one six. Right here. But listen. Okay, we're on high speed. Everything's proper. This is with a power stack. You can hear clearly that it's faster. Versus. <laughs> oh, no ball. So whatever whatever we're doing with these power stacks is uh, definitely an improvement over what we would have. Yes. And we know that these output equivalent to a 5.0 on DeWalt. Yes. So um, we actually could do that too, I think. With this. So, to, uh, Carlos, to answer your question, it goes uh, Master Force and Skill are kind of like their entry level. Then you have Cobalt as the mid tier, and then Flex as the top of the line. Let's give a good difference on this. This is a 5.0. The 1.7. It sounded a little yeah, different. Hang on. I use the one I use in the Makita. A new lithium. That's a 1.7. That's a five, very similar. Mm. And if we get a... No worries, Carlos. Uh, so the new uh, uh, power stack batteries are, they they charge very quickly, very quickly. And I'm excited to see more companies starting next year will be going with lithium pouch cell batteries. But not Makita. Hmm. Never heard of Master Force. Where is that set? Uh, where is that sold? So that is sold in uh, Menards. It's their house brand. Where's the pack? Where's the power stack? So you can hear the output of a power stack. Just more. Three minutes faster than the list of time. Of that. Wow. Y'all need to get Menards too. Both are fully Texas. charged. Yeah. And <sighs> All right. Just jam it in there like you did with the DeWalt. I try to. Or the, the Flex, rather. Yeah, everybody needs a Menards. At least one. So the flex is a lot smoother. It still does with that bogging down. Yeah. But the flex is good. It's not bad. Either one of them. The flex is kind of scary the way it just cuts it, though. Flex wins. Yeah. Been a hard week for my, like a hard two weeks. Well, for my with two sixes. I don't know. <laughs> so dusty in here. It is. That's, you yeah. keep saying that. I'm just hanging in the back. I, I got no dust on me. It's a what, cheese uh, grater. Gets Why us. I get to my settings here? So Paul W says I have a hard time believing Milwaukee will get a stack pack. DeWalt had it first, I believe it's uh, patent. Milwaukee has the patent on 18 volt lithium battery, and sued DeWalt. So the the fact of the matter is, Paul, Milwaukee's already announced that they are going to have lithium pot cell batteries oh. next year. Here's all the carnage. 
it's good. Hard to believe DeWalt don't have that have it locked. Uh, no, I don't know who has the patent on those batteries. Uh, have the corrective or any uh, FIP adapters, plumbing apprentice. Yeah, Carlos, I, I hear you. I, I don't even like going into Lowe's, to be honest with you. Milwaukee already paid for the rights to manufacture that patent. Uh, according to Anthony, uh, they're being forced to wait, though. I think uh, this is a fairly new blade. You want us to be plunge this? Sure. Uh, I've never time just uh, just know the heavy use DeWalt five amp hour chargers in little less than the time it takes to kill the battery in a brush circuit. So there you go. Milwaukee has, may have designed a stack pack, but to safety release it is another ball game. They they're going to release it. It's it's a done deal. They're going to have it next year. DeWalt and Flex have a deal too, not to step on each other's toes with the same stack lithium amp hours. Gosh. I don't know that I'd agree to any of that. I, I don't know that you're wrong. I just don't know. I know in business I would have never agreed to it. I'd have been like, oh hell, I'm gonna do it just to upset you. Especially if I was DeWalt. Uh, or Stanley Black and Decker. Is that better? Get closer. Yeah. It's, we 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 can see your wood. It's a lot smaller yeah, it's than a I am. Camera. Let me let me see. This one's a little bit closer, but the other camera's more of a wider. This one. There we go. Uh, this happens every time, man. And then I canceled the stream. I'm going to go out of settings. There we go. Awesome. Okay. Uh, 3.5. We can cut this in half. You've obviously researched it more than I have, Anthony. Fast. I don't know. It's dull. It is very dull. Mmm. It's like cutting cake, man. Oh, you know we oh we are missing teeth on this actually. I mean, it's still pretty fast. Don't get me wrong. They might be making a twelve volt line. At some point, I'm sure they'll. A lot of people will give it a shot. Yeah. What What is this thing doing? Family. There we go. We'll. Uh, we We do like the Starlock, but it's also very um, expensive. It is at that. Yeah. Works good though. If you have a really sharp blade, man, that thing is like crazy. Yeah. I don't think I have a sharp blade. We'll see. Nope, that is definitely not a sharp blade. That's a drywall. That's multi. What is that? That's a Metabo blade. No, I don't. I don't have a wood cutting blade that's going to cut really fast. But that man, that thing cuts like stupid, stupid fast. All right, uh, where is the freaking thing? This chair, man. This chair rises by itself. Drives me crazy. 
Yeah, it's because you like it. I, I put it. I put it um, underneath of a desk one day, and it got stuck because it rose up, and then it was it was stuck underneath this. And luckily, I can pick this up. But if it if it rose underneath this, dude, I'd have to get like the freaking saws off to cut it in half or something. I just put your back into it. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they always say. Yeah. Well, um, anything else in particular you guys want to see? Uh, it's Thursday. Um, we'll be uh, Thanksgiving. So, probably not. But, oh, yeah. Yeah. Not Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Checking to see how they listen. Milwaukee was the first to they on with V18 and V28 before. Yep. And they also had an M28, actually. Um, that that was the tools were like bigger than the flex. Yeah. And uh, that didn't last long. No, but um, I don't know. They look cool. Around. There you go. A few views. I'd like to uh, see. Yeah, Thanksgiving Thursday. What's it called? So Paul W said, "I like to see. Remember that stuff we used to get when we were younger." <laughs> Playboy. <laughs> Was it yeah. called? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's catching up with the pet. Uh, yeah, so Thanksgiving Thursday, um, no stream. You guys enjoy time with your family. Um, yeah, what, what what you got coming up? What are you doing? Uh, I have no idea. I'm go- uh, well. I've got that uh, storage cabinet that I've got to put together. Uh, I was planning on doing that today. Are you allowed to put it together now? <laughs> Yeah, it's funny. They they sent me a message. They're like, "Hold off, don't yeah. don't do it. We're out of stock." So like, okay, yeah, I, I'll hold off for a week or two. The next, uh, I think it was two days later. They're like, "Did you make the video yet?" And yeah. and now they just daily messages. Did you make the video yet? I'm like, no, I didn't make the video yet. But I, I'll put Where it together. Make the video. Why don't you do it alive? We'll watch you build it. Just like whenever I built that Vivor table, man. Yeah, well, they and didn't. And we can make fun of you like you made fun of me. Okay, so I'm just going to say this. They did not watch you build that Vivor table. You funny, were not I I doing it every... live. Yeah. You had me on the phone FaceTiming me for two and a half hours. Yeah, it took a minute. It will not take me two and a half hours to build this entire storage locker. In, in my review, I actually did tips on how to build it, not like me. So um, you're welcome if you got that table. Anyone out there? Snack packs and stack packs. I like it. Uh, and uh, lastly, on the Milwaukee saw blade, okay, or multi tool saw blade. Cool. I'll look forward to that, Anthony. I'm yeah, glad to see. Go. I, I'm glad to see more people like Wolf Code Tools was here earlier. Juan Pratt's uh, learning with Juan. Um, Anthony, L., I, I, I'm so happy to see you guys uh, pursuing what he and Robert and I have been doing here. And I, I hope that we have played some small part in inspiring you to go out and just do videos about things that you're passionate about and that you love. Yeah, my, my whole thing with YouTube, man, is uh, there's, there's a lot of nonsense on YouTube, but this this is the platform that you can actually learn something on and get useful information. Um, there's other platforms, just random craziness. I mean, there's there's still knowledge in there, but it's it's just really quick craziness for the most part, um, which my shorts are pretty crazy. But uh you know, you, you come here, you, the first thing you do, you know, you got your car is broken, whatever engine light comes on, you type that in YouTube and someone will be fixing it. You know, every make and model is on YouTube. Someone's doing something. So 
you know, just giving back. You're welcome, Anthony. No. <clears throat> yeah, well, thank you. Um, man, that's all I got for tonight. Appreciate you guys dropping by. Thank you all. We appreciate you. You have yeah. a good one. I will be uh, there Sunday. So, this will actually be in a, uh, you know what? I might just end up making that storage locker live Thursday. There you go. Do it. That'd be cool. Be planning for an hour because once I lay the parts out, it's not <laughs> going to take me any time to get it together. Talk on smack in the comments section. Uh, maybe you should do vids. Hey, maybe I should make comments. <laughs> <laughs> yes good night all you have a happy thanksgiving and uh since we're not going to be live on thursday i'm going to tell you what i am thankful for and i am thankful for all of the support and the people that we have gotten to meet over the last year year and a half of doing youtube and other social medias and uh getting to know some of y'all and uh, just being being here for you and, and enjoying the time together. Yeah, man, this community is awesome. You guys are awesome. Um, we got that flex video coming out. That's going to be crazy. I might, I might have to fill a bucket with concrete and um, take the concrete out of the bucket for a change. Unlike some people. And mm -hmm. then, um, you know, just go ham on it. Cause that, that man, that thing's going to be, that thing's going to be awesome. We're going to compare it to, the uh in my earlier videos we took this bit you're welcome paul have a happy thanksgiving jamie anthony have a good evening we'll worry about it later we took that inch and an eighth bit on this drill and yes. raced it against a 22 volt healthy, healthy. mm-hmm and the Hilti lost, mm -hmm. which is okay. insane to me. This this thing is just fast, and and we were there just solidly drilling um, for like a minute, and uh, we went through three inches of concrete or something, and and this thing beat the Hilti. So I'm really really excited to see what Flex has done with their actual concrete drill. That that should be pretty cool. It should be. I'm looking yeah. forward. All right, we're out of here. Catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Have a good one, guys.